Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing a game called Fatal Delivery. Uh, this is a short game about a delivery driver in a semi-apocalyptic world with task the delivery of strange package to a nearby city. So let's jump into the short horror game. That sensitivity this sensitivity is crazy. Jesus. I have an important delivery for you. The offer is 1.2 million scra scraps. Scrubs. Uh for accessible delivery of console Ulvis in new in New Babylon. Babylon. Uh, the cargo is already loaded in the back seat. You'll find the car in the garage next door. Don't open the package under the under any circumstance. A contact will be waiting for you on the other side of the city gates. As always, stick to the road and don't exit the car except for emergencies. I don't have to tell you what's out there. Take this with you, make sure it's loaded before you get into the car. Ammo is hard to come by, make a count. Uh, change equipment. Press space to open chamber. Left click to load. Oh. Bro, you tell me I only get one shell? Alright. I can't believe this. It's still in one I can't believe this is still in one piece. The sensor system is all hooked up. Keep an eye out while you're driving in case anything breaks down. One of the tires is low on pressure. Before you head out, fill it up, will you? I left the tools in the trunk. Dude, this sensitivity is crazy. battery charger which tire was it this one Need this for anything? Put that back. Alright. I wonder if there's any point looking around. Maybe find some more ammo. Guess not. The bounce startup engine. Oh, R. Oh, it's a little Christmas tree. Alright, we're on the road. Order on the road. Do, 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 do. Driving down the wasteland. Okay, I heard. Uh,
Okay, I don't like that the box is moving. So. this shit quick. Did I grab the wrong thing? Alright, let's everyone, let's, let's chill out. Bro, just learned this shit. Yo. <laughs> Yo. That was low key kind of nerve wracking, bro. Now, what's going on back here? It was making a lot of noise. I do not like that. I wonder if that's the incentive to stay on the road and tires just gonna pop. I wonder when this game takes place, because I feel like I should have something other than a single shot shotgun. Or at least something that can hold a few shells. I'm not too well versed in the knowledge of guns. I'm pretty sure I actually... That threw me off. Swallowed by the world, <laughs> unusable to the white, white, uh, unable to withstand the uh, army of darkness. You are one of the many to be consumed. Oh my god. Is that it? Is my thing bugged? Now that we've killed a few monsters, you know what I'm saying? Is there a save? There's not a save option. Okay. Okay, all tires are looking good. Turn the radio. Okay, I get follow vibes.
that blicky on. I do. Run. That's a timer thing, okay. <clears throat> well, I just smoked three of these big guys. I low-key was getting annoyed the second time that I died, but um, I'm low-key enjoying the hell out of this game. That scared me. I thought that was an enemy. Two cases. Oh, I guess that means I have eight. Eight plus a two, so I guess I have ten. Shovel. Huh. Sucks you can't jump. I guess I'm supposed to drive around, I assume. to drive around.
I think I'm technically out of bounds. That's a one to go. We hit that boy with the blicky. Now we out this bitch, son. It is comforting knowing I can low-key just step walk faster than every enemy. So the big, the gigantic, the black monsters, whatever the hell they are, those guys are two shots. The Wendigos are three. Hey, sir, you must be the one. Uh, you must be the one sent for Ulus. I am the consul, consulate, uh, Tullius. I see our mutual friend has allowed you safe passage. I trust that everything is in order. Hand me the package, and I'll sign over the scrubs. Scarabs. shall give us much ground in the war uh, you have probably heard the nonsense about this conflict from the masses but rest assured that it's that it is not a judgment but an opportunity the delivery is nothing less than a pur purported messenger in the enemy's camp a being of pure spirit an infinite one uh, recovered from the latest blast site our mutual friend has made agreements with the Emperor, uh, one that simple trade, and he will make the city first with prosperity and elevate man to new heights. Olus will facilitate this delivery. If anything, we will be done. The package is a great mercy. Now, enough of the matter. Hand, it over, hand over the package. Excellent. Olus will be pleased. He has prepared the promised uh, lodging at the city's finest hotel for this, if you will join us. Ending three, uh, you've allowed darkness to speak to your heart. You are granted feeling, uh, fleeting tastes of passion, followed only by bitterness. Where darkness began, uh, you recoil from the light of the marvelant worm. What? Okay, let's get the last ending.
Alright, we're back. This time we're gonna see what the alternative ending is. That's disappointing. Your weaknesses, I will grant you a quick death. Okay, hold up. All right, now that he's done. Uh, if you've awoken the, to the reality you have denied the flesh, your action have provoked a ceaseless manhunt from the authorities. Huh. Okay. Game by Island Ware. Alright, so here's the game. We just played it. Fatal Delivery. Um, I actually enjoyed this game. You know, at first I did get annoyed. But once you really get, like, the reloading down, it's actually not that bad. I like the atmosphere. Um, assuming you don't die and, like, you do everything perfect. Like, this is, like, a really short game. Like, you could probably complete it in under 20 minutes. But if you're taking your time going through it, you die a few times, you know, you want all the endings. It's going to take you 30 minutes, 40, maybe an hour if you really want to explore and see if you can look around. Not much exploration, but yet again, it's just, it's just a little game, right? You're not supposed to go out and explore, but it would be nice if I could. I really did like um, right here where they had the little alcove where you could go explore and like loot. That was really fun. Uh, all the enemies are really cool. The Windigo was cool. Um, cool design. He's tanky. I'm not sure how the health works. Because um, when I was going back to get the last ending, he took four shots instead of three. The first time I killed him, he took three. Some of the mo uh, big dark monsters took two shots. Some took one. So it's just very interesting to see how they varied. I like the, I like this, I'm not sure what this style is called, but I really like this. Feels like an old school style. The, the shotgun felt really cool. I like that you only had a certain amount of shells, you really had to manage it. This is a cool feature, like, bro, this has you stressed so when there's monsters pushing you, and you gotta quickly pop your tire back. Yeah, this is a really good game, I'd recommend it. i recommend checking out the developer. I think he's just the one guy who's play, made a few other games. West Hala, Shinobi Saga. Yeah, it's a free-to-play. It's nothing crazy. I'd recommend giving it, playing it, leaving a review, you know, help support him, stuff like that. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you know, like, like subscribe, tell a friend, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all. I thought my PC crashed. I'm sorry for that. Uh, yeah, so I was saying subscribe, follow, tell a friend. I will see y'all next time.